Hello everyone, on today's video uh, we're going to be taking a look at how to do non-standard formation sizes uh, when you're doing uh, strikes. So as you probably are very, very well familiar, oh, looks like we've got ourselves a little bit of a warning here, the USS Nautilus has spotted somebody. Uh, as you all know, uh, when you're ordering up strike missions, uh, you can select how many aircraft are in each strike group. Unfortunately, when you do that, you end up with the conga line, which unfortunately for us, especially with the uh, modern warfare here, tends to have a lack of concentration of force. Uh, let me go ahead and prove my point real quickly here. So if you take a look at the top of the screen, uh, you can see we're sitting here right around the cusp of the uh, battle of midway here. We've got, of course, this is a much simplified version of what went on, although it's a really, really fun battle for those of you who've never tried it out. And I noticed my submarine here, the Nautilus, has actually spotted a whole carrier action group uh, made up of the Akagi, and you know, you've got probably the Congo and the Tone and stuff like that. And of course, uh, since we found them first, we're going to order up a nice little strike mission against them. So this is what happens normally when we do strike missions. We go ahead and select the guy we want to put a hole into, and we're going to say the whole Japanese Navy here. We're going to go ahead and do Control F11. We're going to say uh, sink him good, sink him good. We're going to do ourselves an anti-surface warfare strike. We're going to grab all of our nice uh, World War II-esque airplanes, and we're going to put them in the largest groups we can possibly get them in, so you can concentrate their fire. We're going to close that screen. I'm going to hit play, and uh, now we're going to go ahead and get disappointed here. Make sure it's disappointed. All right, here we go. So we sit here. Everybody launches in the conga line. So the problem with the conga line is that when we finally do get to the Japanese Navy, the uh, Japanese gunners now are going to sit here and go, ho, 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 ho. And look at this. They're coming at us one at a time. Let's just point our guns in that direction and keep shooting. And we get ourselves, you know, the Battle of Midway here. And obviously, we're having a pretty fun time of it. You know, those escorts are uh, definitely getting whacked here. And uh, there we are. We have just deployed a massive, massive, massive force against these ships. And uh, let's see how we did as far as successes goes. Let's see here. We lost. Ho, ho, ho. This is just as bad as it was in the real one. Of course, in the real one, uh, we lost Avengers like crazy. We did lose some dive bombers. But these were the ones who were the victims here. Meanwhile, um, what do we get? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, looks like we didn't get anything. Let's actually switch over to the other side real quick, just to prove my point here. Uh, we can see there's a bunch of airplanes. Uh, let's see who's actually hurt here. Uh, no, we definitely got more than that, but you can see that they're in pretty rough shape. All right, so let's reopen the scenario again. But this time, let's implement a little slightly different strategy this time, as far as uh, how to make a more successful strike mission. So let my Nautilus do his thing real fast here. He's going to come up to periscope depth, go, oh god, and dive immediately. Of course, in the real world, it was the Nautilus that uh, was one of the early spotting uh, submarines here. And he was basically chastised for, you know, not really uh, pushing his luck there. But unfortunately, a bunch of Japanese destroyers were not thrilled with the fact that they were attacked by a Gato class in the middle of everything. All right, he's going to go ahead and dive. I'm going to go ahead and do my mission again. But this time, I'm going to do this quick little hack that I really like to do when I do these kinds of missions. So let's go ahead and uh, sink it sink it right this time. All right, I'll go ahead and call this one a uh, anti-surface warfare strike. We'll go get everybody. And this time, I'm going to make sure I'm paused. I'm going to go over to my American carrier here, press F6. I'm going to select all of my Dauntlesses and click Launch as Group. So now, instead of doing the conga line towards the target, I have a group of 18 going towards the target. Keep in mind, when you do this strategy, it will limit your range because of all the extra fuel we're going to have to burn to stay in this mega group. So we're going to put those guys all in a group. We're going to put these folks all in a group. And we're going to put these folks all in a group. Now it will ignore what we told it to do when we set up the mission. So because of that, this is awesome, by the way, um, they're basically going to sit there, form up into one mega pile of airplanes, and then they're going to come flying. Look at this. Look at this. Aha! Look at that. Now, of course, if you were a more careful planner, you would have done this. <laughs> Check that out. So now we have literally the wall of airplanes, and they're all perfectly well-coordinated. And if I actually zoom in, of course, they're not going to look right. Look at this. Now that looks to me like one of those uh, World War II kind of operations where everybody basically all queued themselves up in these mega, mega V within V formations. Let's see if it makes any difference with the fight. So let's go switch over to the uh, Japanese perspective here. Uh, they're enjoying their flight here. Uh, everything is feeling pretty confident. I'll kind of monitor the Americans and the giant posse here. And just kind of cruising along. They're making pretty good time. Uh, of course, as you know, they're all rearming and refueling all their torpedoes and bombers on board. And it looks like the Americans initially cannot locate where the Japanese Navy is. Actual problem, by the way. So I'm going to go ahead and order these guys. I have to swing up that Well, We have to identify them first. Have everybody swing up this way real quick. See if we can reacquire the uh, Japanese Navy. And as soon as they identify them, there it goes. Now I don't even need to give them orders. Huh? They know how to do this part. I'm going to go ahead and select everybody and delete that uh, movement order that I gave them. Delete this movement order that I gave them. 
and delete this move order that I gave them. Okay, let's see what happens this time. Go ahead and speed things up a little bit. So first, this mega group, not just a couple planes, one at a time, but everybody shows up all at the same time and starts dropping bombs like crazy. Of course, uh, why they're chilling at that altitude is uh, a little bit beyond me at the moment. Did I accidentally unassign them? Let's make sure I do it right. Eh, there we go. I just had to reassign them to the mission. Ah, I hate it when I do that. Um, yes, do it anyway. <laughs> We'll go ahead and grab these guys. We'll go ahead and order sign them as well. And there we go. Now we're in business. Now they should all go to the crick. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> now that looks like the Battle of Midway. Now the best part is because they're so spread out, it's going to cause the poor gunners there to have a heck of a time being able to concentrate their fire. Obviously, there's a lot of fire in that many vessels. But you can see I'm already on my torpedoes. are doing their job. A bunch more torpedoes, one in the water. Meanwhile, here comes uh, my S. Uh, these are my Wildcats. Yeah, talk about durable a little bit. Look at this. Look at this. They start doing the dive bombing, boom, 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 all at the same time in perfect unison. And of course, my other crew have already dropped their bombs. So uh, let's see here. You guys all ran out of fuel? No, you got plenty of bombs and you guys did it. All right. Let's see what's different this time. Switch back to the IGN. IJN, sorry. And we can see, uh, let's see what we did. We noticed everybody got quite a whack here. And I believe a couple of these guys are on fire. Yeah, the Congo took no damage. The Akagi, of course, is uh, sitting here. I don't think it's on fire, which is good news. Uh, the Nagara is, um, yeah, that, that's a lost cause right there. And, of course, our Shashio, yeah, looking pretty good. And the other one uh, is going to burn to death. So hopefully this video was helpful. Now, again, the trick there is that you can group your thing in any size when you launch them. Uh, some people, of course, are pointing out the fact, saying, well, can you do this once they're already in the air? The answer is absolutely. So if we wanted to, just to uh, kind of finish the deed here, let's go get uh, aircraft, you know, just for fun, just for fun. Let's go get some TU-95, the uh, KMs. Oh, which one do I want? I'll do the M's are the ones I'm probably going to use here. Um, hydrogen bomb. That seems safe. Uh, let's see here. I really wanted the M16. So look at this. They have the TU-91s. These things are interesting units. They don't actually exist. The Bear C, definitely not. I think this is... Uh, there's the one I want. Got it. Okay. Oh, oh, geez, that's nuclear. I don't want nuclear. Try to find myself just the right one here real fast. That's a kangaroo also, and that's nuclear. Got to remember this is the Cold War database. They have a slightly different collection of aircraft that we can use at disposal. And we could get them all tactical like that or something like that. All right, fine, be that way. I'll do A4s instead. Let's see here. What could be a fun little way to kind of finish the job here? Uh, 1960 and 1972 should do the deed here. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve group and i'm going to go ahead and assign them to the mission just like i did a moment ago and we're just going to let them kind of do their thing um very dramatically i love how they all fall in like one super tight pattern there and this is going to get really really messy here comes the a4s they've acquired their targets we need a 10x watch this fire <laughs> it's not great this works, by the way, really, really good if you want to simulate strategic bombing. All right, hopefully this video was helpful. Again, the uh, trick there is you can launch them as a group or you can regroup them in the air. Enjoy.